let's return to this mod. Welcome to another video on this channel. Today I will be playing as the nation the mod revolves around, the finally Imperial Britain. As Britain I will try to keep the Empire's hegemony status and beat up the French. So let's head in. Alright, Imperial Britain. We start with a few problems. First we have post-war pacifism destroying our war support. Then we have the land of hope and glory, which right now does nothing. Then we have economic stagnation, reducing stability and construction speed. Then overconfident general staff, increasing costs for land doctrine and naval doctrine. And then we have extraterritorial dividends, which decreases consumer goods. And lastly, head of the British Imperial Confederation, which takes away political power. Let's look at the beautiful focus tree. It's quite big. Uh, quite a thing. We've got, we've got a few things to do. But right now we can do nothing. <laughs> That's great. I love when I have to wait. Anyway, uh, we have... Uh, quite a big army, also a very modernized army. I mean, you know, we are probably the strongest nation right now. Let's build a few civilian factories and then just spam out the military factories everywhere where there's good infrastructure. This will be the research. Well, we don't have that much military factories, so uh, this is the starting production line. Uh, I, I don't know. I, we have enough ships, I guess, right? Yeah, this blue seems like enough, honestly. Uh, let's just... Uh, unite them to have them on one spot. And in the decisions we have, uh, uh, yeah, some some stuff. Apparently we're building a channel through Nicaragua instead of, um, you know, where, where the canal actually was built. Uh, it's gonna be interesting, I guess. We also have some matters of the state uh, currently not really available. And then we have Imperial Confederation. Some stuff here, I guess, which uh, I will have to align some stuff, I guess. And uh, lastly, our own politics stuff here. But for now, I there's nothing really more to do, so let's start. Edison introduces mining androids, keeping our good British workers safe. Edison Electric layoffs abound. Wait, hang on a second. Anti-automation rights in Cardiff. This is getting out of hand. Cardiff and Swansea in shambles. Perhaps we should have intervened. Automation crisis. Humans refuted. Picking up the pieces. At least the coalition is still intact. The coalition collapses. Oh, for God's sake. The general elections begin. Let's see how many papers we can sell. I wonder who won. Oh, it looks like the one I've been picking the entire time won. I, d I did not expect that. Can I? Oh, now I can do a finally a focus. Well, let's finally do London Calling. Choosing the next Prime Minister. Eden forms his government with the Hague Tories. The launch of Epsilon 1. We cannot afford to lose our chance at conquering the cosmos. Well, sadly, Marshall Haig has died. The National Recovery Act. The act is passed. This now improves some of our uh, problems. <laughs> uh, what well, uh, war broke out in Ireland? Um, yeah, uh, I, I, I cannot intervene. <laughs> this is their own war, apparently, so let's hope they win. Well, let's continue with our political stuff right here. Actually, guys, we actually, we actually, guys, we, we can help them. We, we actually can help them. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's do that. Well, this should be uh, it then for these guys. No revolt in my Ireland. That's not how it works, guys. You can't just revolt. Resolving the Irish question. The autonomous provinces shall be maintained. The true sense of Hague. We must stay true to his vision of Britain. Well, I got some, uh, ex you know, I got some invasion decisions down here now. So, you know, let's let's do them, actually. Well, let's get a chief of army. Uh, I'm gonna go with the defensive expert. All right, uh, time to uh, take Yemen. Well, uh, I did help Italy at the beginning a bit. And uh, yeah, now they won and they join our imperial faction. Well, uh... Oh, that's these guys, fuck. Well, oh, uh, conquer these guys. The Tonkin campaign stalemate. We will not abandon Vietnam. Uh, let's intervene and let's uh, you know, send these guys over here now. Christopher just traveling home. I couldn't have this come a bit sooner than I would have had them here. Opening the 1934 Imperial Conference. Let's begin, shall we? Debates on Dominion reform. The Dominions should be granted greater autonomy in the Empire. Debates on economic reform. Decentralize the economy and focus on local development. Debates on the military. Focus on creating individual Commonwealth militaries. Report from the Mandate. Dispatch an agent to locate him. A meeting in the dunes. We need the old desert ghost back. Come home again. One last ride for all time's sake. Hey, we get T.E. Lawrence. That's cool. Edge gets the decisive battle expert as our chief of navy, and let's also get uh, the air reformer as our chief of air force. Well, let's finally do forever in the Hague's shadow. But there should be enough to win this war now, right? Yep, it is nice. Um, I have no idea when this appeared here. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, that's that's. Uh, when, when did this happen? Future of Indochina. Partition the former French colonies into client states. 
Well, let's do the things right here, I guess. Uh, these, these seem important, honestly. Exploiting Morocco's misfortune. The Spanish cannot control these lands. Alright, I have the good idea of, uh, you know, uh, supporting the, the, <laughs> the automation future. Uh, well, there's, there's, there's a war now. Uh, let's join and help them, I guess. You know, why shouldn't I help them with that? Uh, let's evolve the military, guys. Uh, humans need not to apply. <laughs> uh, this is looking great. <laughs> Minus 50 stability. Yeah, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be it for these guys now. Just gonna wait till my army arrives at the, you know, their cities here and there. But yeah. Uh, there they go. Well, uh, I did lose the one, but uh, I also now put a man in the orbit. Uh, let's now reform the army. Uh, I'm not gonna do that now. It will remove my uh, Autonomation Crisis modifier and I, you know, I like it right now. It gives me some cool bonuses for protection, so I'm gonna keep that for now. Uh, uh, perfecting conventional warfare. But Wallonia just uh, fell. And, uh, yeah. You're gonna expect a war with France soon. Uh, already prepared an invasion. Let's modernize the, the military once more. The 1937 general election. The Tories win again. Early Germany, you gave them the fucking Netherlands. Why? Why? I wanna fight them. Oh, uh, why? Well, it looks like they declared war. You know, you know, Germany, you could have fed the Netherlands and been at war, but you chose not to. Oh my god. So, so annoying. Uh, time to beat up the French. I love doing them. Oh, I joined the war now. Great. Uh, immediately invaded them. Uh, yeah, let's see how that will be going. Uh, I'm sending my entire army over now. Speaking of sending the entire army over, I should also uh, make sure that my convoys don't get sunk. Uh, well, uh, I do, uh, uh, created some Razor Maidens because I wanted to test them out. Uh, this is the template if you're interested. And I've, yeah, I think they're fine, honestly. There are some good units. Uh, invasion is looking fine. I hope Germany lives long enough for me to yeah, kill them here. I should also call in everybody. Oh, Paris has fallen. And uh, yeah, I France won't stay here for long enough, guys. I I, I think they've uh, overdone it a bit here. Speaking of, I should activate that. Why am I? Why? 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 Why am I forgetting these things? Like I do them, but I then then don't use them. Like come on. the London Committee proposal. Let's put the idea out there. Well, we can do the Masters of the Earth now. Formalization of the League of Nations. We will not make the same mistakes again. And uh, now the Imperial faction thing, whatever, is now the League of Nations. France seems a bit, uh, you know, a bit more red. Well, guys, uh, it's gonna be the end of France. Goodbye. Yes, thanks for making them an entire country. So let's uh, real, uh, help our German friends here because, uh, you know, the, the airline doesn't seem too good. And uh, I'm just gonna send these guys down here. The future of Europe, the French problem. <laughs> <laughs> France shall be partially dismantled. The Manchester Conference. A roadmap for peace in our time. Well, Spain will die now too. Uh, when we, you know, capture Sevilla or something else, I don't know. I'm just snaking through here now. <laughs> Up, Sevilla is gone and uh, Spain is also gone. Fall of Spain, and now they are purple with... Uh, why did we put this guy in charge? Uh, let's now do the home defense core and do some, you know, our, our things here before uh, before they, they become unavailable. Well, sad news, the passing of Queen Victoria. An uncertain future awaits. Uh, uh, I think my units are ready here now, so I can activate the battle plan and uh, take them back. Got some reinforcements to send. The future of Spain. Spain shall be ruled by Saxe Coburg and Gotha. Uh, well, uh, uh, Russian losses are high. How did Italy? <laughs> what? Wait, what the fuck? Italy useful for once? Can't believe it. I'll be real, this annexation capitulation really kills the Russian army here. <laughs> yeah, they are entirely encircled. Oh, it's their entire army. It's, it's gone. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, now you can just relax. Honestly, they have. 24 divisions. I have overtaken Italy now. Um, no one beats me to killing enemies. That's, that's not okay. They can't just do that. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna uh, cut to when Russia capitulates because that will take a while. Even though they have no army. They, they still have land. The, the shit ton of land, to be clear. So yeah. Well, Russia sues for peace. The bear has finally been brought low. Cool that I don't have to go all the way to Vladivostok to cap them. I like that. Because they are at 65% capitulation. After losing, you know, all their major city things here. Yes. Victory has been achieved. 
Uh, let's send them back home. Uh, let's finally uh, do blurring the lines of cooperation and state. Well, we created some puppet states. Conference of Europe, the main course. Hopefully peace will be given a chance. Uh, Ukraine collapse, by the way. Uh, which side is my side? I, uh, I guess these guys, right? Uh, uh, yeah, 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 I'm just gonna do this. Uh, I, com I, I, com I, I, I completely forgot economic loss was here and <laughs> I was the entire game on civilian economy. Oh well, gosh, we did it. We, uh, we, we, we uh, unified Ukraine back. Isn't this cool? Expanding the autonomies, the West Indies established the West Indies as a commonwealth. The commonwealth of Great Britain for a united empire. The British Dominion. And uh, let's uh, Britain forward. I have no idea why she's still here. Like, if you look at the other parties, the other guys there, but just here... <laughs> what? <laughs> Are they just denying that she died or what? Uh, okay, well that sucks now. Um, I, I, I believe America just declared independence. And I did have my army here though, just in case they would do that. Why did it even happen? Did they? Yeah, okay. I, they just increase imperial tension, okay. Like, why is there not an option to reduce it, man? I was confused why a focus could bypass the... Yeah, that explains a lot. Literally gave them independence. What war do they want? Uh, the war begins. Oh, what the f... Wait. Apparently we're testing the nuke down here. Okay. <laughs> Site of nuclear attack. Jesus. Yeah, I have nuclear bombs now. Uh, but I have to build reactors first for them to actually produce. Uh, this up here is pain because it's a fucking stalemate. I can't get through the fucking river line. Like, I, I can only build one airport here. And the other one would be too far away. And uh, capturing this one is a bit hard over the river. So I'm trying my best right now. Oh, bah, 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 I died in encirclement. Really want to reduce their troop size. So yeah. Uh, aimed for a big one. Uh, it's going to be fun to close that now. Well, bah, time to finish them off the encirclement now. Uh, I don't care about the naval invasion. And uh, that should be quite a few troops, right? Uh, uh, yeah, the, quite a few losses, I, I suppose. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, I lost half a million. I did champ more in Chukomanch, bring them even further and then trying to reduce the size of my frontier. There they go. Then more losses. Jesus Christ. And uh, another encirclement right here. The killing even more. Trying to, you know, capitulate them now. I really would like to... Uh, this, I, why are they overstacking up here? There's nothing down there. Let's uh, try an all-out offensive down here now. What the fuck happened? What? What? I... <laughs> What do you mean? We were winning. Was there an invisible timer for me to win this war or what? I, I, I don't understand this. We were literally just, you know, about to cap them anyway. They were they were literally about to cap, like, an hour. We're just leaving. You know, this is stupid. This is very stupid. This, this is just not fun, man. Not even funny. I'm gonna end the video now. <laughs> because I cannot do anything else now. Um... Yeah, I, don't, I have no idea what happened up there, honestly. I, like, the only exp thing I, you know, is an invisible timer for me to win this war. Which would be great to know when uh, where, where this would be. I did not see anything. Well, whatever. Like, it should rather be them just having to control my all my states here. Like, every, like, me not having any states here for me to peace out, honestly. But no, I'm just... Whatever. I don't know. I can't... So, yeah. This is where I'm gonna end the video. Yeah, thanks a lot for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. And please like, subscribe and leave a comment. And see you next time. Goodbye.